as we all know, always a leading uh, hub when it comes to manufacturing. My name is uh, Vish Sahasranamam, co-founder and CEO of Ford. We're based in, in, in Coimbatore. Coimbatore, as we all know, uh, has been always a leading uh, hub when it comes to manufacturing. And uh, today we are hosting the hardware edition of the Smart India Hackathon, which is a national level program organized by the Ministry of HRD and uh, uh, AICTE, the governing body of all uh, technical education in the country. Forge is one among 10 uh, centers that is being selected to host this national level program. Uh, today we have nine teams from uh, different parts of the country, student innovators who are for the next five days going to be building uh, prototypes in the uh, import substitution theme. So we have ideas such as uh, a railway track monitoring system, a bone conduction headphone, uh, multiple types of uh, air pollution monitoring and uh, uh, control uh, solutions and, and several such uh, very innovative ideas are going to be hacked in the next five days. Now in Forge, we believe that uh, in India, to solve the innumerable problems uh, that you find around uh, around us, whether it's the it's in the factories, whether it's for the safety of our women, whether it's for education, whether it's for our uh, uh, you know elders, senior citizens, uh, you take any sector, the kind of problems that we have, we need hardware. So we need a hardware first approach and a software next approach. Uh, whereas we have always done a lot of good work when it comes to software. We have one of the largest IT sectors in the world. We're a global leader. But the amount of progress we've made in hardware is, is rather limited. So this is an opportunity uh, that we have created in Forge to help uh, students, young minds, young engineers, uh, startups to come and make use of our uh, facilities here to bring their innovations to, to life. My name is Dilip Malkhede. I work as the advisor at AICTE New Delhi. And AICTE, as you may know, uh, gives permissions to engineering and engineering colleges and diploma institutions. Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has given a mantra to the country, IPPP, innovate, patent, produce and prosper. I think with this mantra, we are going to prosper and making will make the country richer. We do not want these students to stop at this hackathon, but we want them to start a company. And there is a lot of support from government of India and even state governments uh, have come up with a lot of schemes. And AICT has some scheme to you know support all these students, even the forge like. Uh, incubation center provides a lot of support for these technology based uh, innovations and when the students start their business I think will be becoming richer. Good morning my name is Disha Singh I represent Persistent Systems in I4C and we are uh, one of the organizers uh, for Smart India Hackathon 2018. We are the founding organizers we started the Smart India Hackathon uh, 2017. Uh, the whole reason we have two sides of it the first was of course uh, the government ministries, state governments that have various problems that need to be uh, addressed and for that they require digital solutions and we thought that this would be a perfect platform to uh, work towards that. We, on one side we have the government, on the other side we have students who have so much of potential, so many innovative ideas, they have uh, which can help the country. So we wanted to bridge that gap and bring them together so that the students uh, not only get a platform for, uh, you know, uh, showcasing their innovations and their solutions, but they also, uh, they are able to solve the problems of our country. 2017 was a pilot that was done across the country. It was only software that we did. Uh, this year we just uh, decided to do two editions. One was a software edition which was held in March and uh, now we're having the hardware edition. The hardware edition is the first of its kind and we're very excited. We have 10 centers across the country for being one of them. So on 22nd when the hackathon actually ends, the hardware hackathon, it's actually going to be a new start for a lot of the teams because we're looking 
to convert these ideas into startups. So we will see how it goes and I think um, look forward to the results.